Hello everyone, welcome back again to On Our Channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. So if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add color swatches to your products on Shopify store. So in the last couple of days, I was making a script for the color swatches. However, when I started testing it, it doesn't work properly on all teams and i did discover that in the last minute actually i was just going to record the video then i got the idea hold on let me try it on different teams i mean the free ones like sense team and so on so i did install a shopify store separately and install a shopify team which is the sense as well and when I installed the script, which is a section where you can add the color swatches and customize it according to the variants of the product you have, I did discover that it does not work properly on it. So all the time I did waste uh, making the script, it was for nothing. But no worries, in this video, I will take a completely different approach. I will use an app which is completely free to add color swatches to the products page on Shopify. And in my previous script that I did make, you would need to connect each variant to each color. However, the trick I'm going to show you in this video, you will not have to do that. You will actually get the colors automatically sync it with the variants of the products. You just need to press a button and the app automatically will connect each color to the variants and it will display it on the products page. And it has some really cool effects and you can customize them however you want. And if you are wondering how it looks like, well, just like this. This is the product page and as you can see this is the t-shirt and it has uh, three colors and here they are the variants for them. I mean the color swatches sorry. So as you can see once I hover with the mouse over a uh, color it does show this effect this hover effect which makes the icon for the color increase in size as well as the purple glow as you can see it does glow a little bit and the same for the others and you can customize as i said even the glowing color and it shows each color with the product for it as you can see so for example if i clicked on the blue one it would change the picture on the product for the blue t-shirt in this case there's a t-shirt and if i click on the, go uh, the red sorry it will change the picture as well to the red t-shirt as you can see and as i said this is completely automatic you don't have to waste time connecting each variant to each color swatches in here that will be done automatically by the app itself and as i said again the app is completely free and without any more talking let's just jump to it and please if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button i would really appreciate it and let's just get to it so let's just close this the first thing we're going to do is add the app obviously to our shopify store and to do so click on the app section right here simply click on it and after that click on recommended apps and it will show you this prompt and click on shopify app store at the bottom right here and after that click on the search bar right here and type in glo color swatch just like this and you should see the app will pop up right here if it didn't simply hit enter and it will show you all the applications in here and here it is as you can see actually no worries just scroll down description box and i would put direct link for it so you don't have actually to search for it and after that click on add app right here and give it a couple of seconds it will take you to shopify dashboard to install the app and click on install the app and after that it should redirect you to the setup page so this is the setup when you're gonna connect the products with, with the variants and so on to the color swatches so the first thing you're going to do is click on let's start right here and give it a moment it will index all the products on your uh, shopify store and it will look for each product in its variants if it has colors on it and so on and as i said this is all completely automatic you don't have actually to spend time and connect each variant or each color to the each color swatch so after a couple of seconds you should see this page right here so the first thing you're going to do is uh, go over the options right here which is the colors it will show you the colors how many products in your shopify store has colors for example this one it says affects two products so two products in my shopify store have the variants on them with the colors so in here you can select if you want automatically the variant for the picture will be on the icon or just the color itself as i showed you just now on the example each color swatch actually have the variant pictures on it and you can actually disable or enable that if you click on it it will as you can see it says automatically variant image swatch or just a button or a color or custom image swatch in my case i'm going to keep the product pictures and after that click on sync now right here simply click on it and again give it a couple of seconds so you can sync all the data on your shopify store and after the syncing is done click on next step right here and this is the fun stuff right here so in this page you can customize the color swatches however you want so the first option in here and by the way this is the template for collection settings because 
you will actually display this even on the collection page when the customer accesses a collection page obviously it will list all the products for that particular collection and each product below it you will have the color swatches just like this you see in this case it does give you the example for a sneaker so this is how it will look like on the collection page so the first option is the swatch tape if you want a, just like this a circle or a, a square if I click on square it will change them like this to square however I do think it looks better on circle so I'm going to keep it as cir a circle and the swatch size if you want a bigger uh, like this or even bigger like this or smaller uh, so this is actually based on how many variants you have if the product has a lot of variants if you do it like this bigger it will not fit properly in the page so make sure to keep it smaller if you do have a lot of variants however in my case I don't, I don't think I have that much these are just three so I'm going to keep it at 50 which is large right here and the swatch spacing obviously is how many space between each swatch if I drag it up like this as you can see it's far away between each uh, swatch so I'm going to keep it just like this at 10 and as well as the swatch border style if it's double lines or single lines I'm going to keep it as single lines right here and the thickness right here for the lines uh, I'm going to keep it as two I think two looks better as you can see no not three just two like this and this is the swatch border color so those lines right here actually have a color and the normal color is gray like this so this is actually based on the Shopify store team or the color that you have in the background of your product page if it's white like this I would recommend you keep it a strong color either gray or black or whatever you prefer so in my case I'm going to keep it as a gray like this and the hover effect which is when the cursor like this uh, go over the color swatch it will change the color as you can see so I will keep it like uh, like this however it's a little bit lighter so I'm going to drag it up just like this this is better as you can see it does show up better and the selected I'm going to keep it like this and below it is the swatch hover effect if you want to add an effect to the swatch for example I did just add glow and if I hover over it with the mouse as you can see it does glow a little bit with the color as you can see so I'm going to keep it as add glow it looks really good like this and the option below it is the zoom in on the image whenever the cursor hover over it like this for example if I click on zoom and as you can see it does zoom on the picture as you can see let's just uh, zoom in here to see it here is as you can see it does zoom in on the picture for the product and below it the size change on the hover which is it will increase the size of the whole uh, color swatch for example let's just type in increase size so you can see it here is as you can see it does increase the size and it's really good effect I think it looks really good however if you do select all those effects make sure to check out the loading time of your Shopify store because obviously that will include some scripts on your Shopify store in order to have those the effects like this so if the product page is loaded really slow when it, you add those effects make sure to disable some of them in my case this is just for demonstration I'm going to keep it like this and this is not the case for all Shopify store just keep this in mind and the second option which is a line content if it's in center or left it's mostly in the left so uh, the cursor here if you want to enable it disable it and below it is the template for the product setting this is as I said this is just for the collection settings and this is how it will look like on the product page as you can see and it doesn't have any effects so it's the same settings actually in here the same exact settings and by the way this is if you want to customize the button as you can see and there's a lot of options here I can't go all of them and yeah, it will take me like uh, 10 minutes and so on and as well as the drop down and let's just scroll down to do the same for the template for the product page and let's just scroll down this is all good in here if you want actually to show the numbers of uh, in stock items for each uh, variance for example let's just do enable it will show us the number of uh, items that's left in the stock uh, according to variance that you are selecting as you can see if I did select the black one she has zero and if I did select the pink one it's five in stock so let's just disable that because I don't want it in my case and the same as the previous one which is the online content and right now let's just click on the next step and in here it, which is the general settings and this is really important if you want actually to rechange all of these settings make sure to click on reorder right here so enable it so you can change all of the things that we did right now in case you have other products and you want a different design for them and the sold out variants for here uh, what what it display basically 
and I do prefer this like this, this red line. So it will cross it like this in case if the variant doesn't have items in stock and the image width and so on. I'm going to keep all of this by default. I think there is not that many options on the settings in here. Uh, and actually this is if you want to show uh, on the collection page it's by default enable it and the second option is show uh, add to cart this is actually based on the team even sometimes even if you disable this option it will still show the add to cart button because that's actually based on the team and show option name which is the color variance red or gray or whatever the case and in this last option right here if you do have a lot of variants and you can display them all at once uh, i mean all at the same location below the title for the product that will take up a lot of space so you can enable this option right here and that will have a plus button uh, on the right of the variance so the customer needs to click on the plus button in order to see all the variants or the colors for the product in my case as i said i only have three colors so i'm going to keep it like this and to just click on the next step right here which is the last option and it should be visible on our op one last step which is we need to enable actually the widget right here uh, i think it's enabled by default on my team however i will show you how to do that uh, simply go you will see this button actually go to team editor it will take you directly to the app so let's just click on it and here it will take you to the app and as you can see it's enabled by default and right now the last option that's left is let's just check out if that's working actually or not on how it looks like because i already show you that let's just check again because i actually that was just a save it page and I did remove the app and so on so let's just check out a product page which is in my case by the way if you are interested in how to add the banner with the video on it as well as the button right here and text and so on make sure to check out my channel I did show you how to add that without any apps or anything like that with your own standalone code and if you are wondering why is that because that will not affect the loading time on your Shopify store so let's just uh, access the products from here and here it is as you can see it's already showing each variant in here for for this right here it's a, a device and it's showing each variant with the pictures on it including the colors as you can see this one is purple and this one is uh, pink right here as you can see and the same as the bracelet right here let's just check out actually the t-shirt which is the example i did show you at first which is this one right here here we go as you can see it does show the color swatches with each color on it if i click on the red t-shirt right here it will change the picture as you can see without even accessing the product page just from the collection page or the home page and if i click on the blue again it will change the picture to the blue variant so the customer can easily uh, switch between the colors and the variants without having to access the product page at all and that's how you add the color swatches on the product page for your shopify store uh, without adding any external code or anything like that and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you if you have any issues with this or any video request make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i do reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one